So yesterday I was upgrading my gems and realized that I never talked about gems and I think gems are actually a big decision in this game and it's not easy to decide if you really are ready to craft or upgrade gems and because of that I want to talk about it now. Keep in mind that gems are a huge money sink and thus you have to decide between gear crafting or gems um, upgrading and the decision is actually kinda hard. There are multiple ways to farm gems in this game, and the first one is Gold Raid. Gold Raid was the introduction of gems basically, and they are the, let's say, freest and easiest way to get gems because it's just natural to attack the gold boss and you get the gems anyway. There is no decision to make except for attacking at all. So definitely attack always the gold boss. Also, if your gold is very good, you might get to the mileage which will reward you another amount of gems so definitely hit good rates if you can. Another one is limited events and except for the current permanent one, usually all events had the opportunity to get stage gems um, chests every time in a week three times. So you, it was also a very good way to get gems but yeah you, you couldn't afford to upgrade them anyway so, so you, you just bought them back then. Um, it's still the same for now. Last, another option is to buy the gems in the cash shop. You have a limited offer every time. I think it's be weekly, even though it's not saying it here. Special gems, you can buy four random stage six gems. And I think it's a very good deal if you are really late game oriented. I myself am not buying them because I think it's insane to buy um, gems like that but yeah it's probably one of the most efficient ways if you want really to progress your account for the very very end game lastly the most obvious other option i can think of is dismantling your talismans and dismantling talisman will give you gems but i think i'm not sure i think the value of the dismantling is so low that it's not worth even doing and i can't afford to upgrade them anyway so while I think this is definitely an option because we can't do anything with most of the 4-star talisman in the long term anyway, I feel like that the benefit of it is way too small for me in the current situation that I won't even think about it. And I hope that they will rework a bit the talisman system overall before I have to decide. So what exactly are gems? Gems are basically extensions for your special equipment and talismans to improve your overall stats on your character. Keep in mind that they have the, on the highest stage the same value as the full substat on your gear, so that means stacking them up can kinda be very impactful. Hey, thank you for watching my video until now. If you want more information about Auto Plane and more videos recommended, please leave a like or subscribe, it would help a lot. And without further ado, let's jump into the rest of the video. And here we are coming to the biggest problem I have with gems and that is that they are a huge money sink and also a big risk that you don't get the desired one. You have 6 stages of gems that you can get with the lowest one being basically useless and I feel like I wouldn't use gems until I have stage 4 gems or higher with stage 6 gems being much better than the stage 4 gems. So if you want to really reach the end game you are forced to craft a lot of gems and the decision between crafting gems and armor is not an easy one to make. So when do gems become relevant for you? I personally think that you should focus on your armor first for 1, 2, 3 months or 4 even. And after you generate a lot of money and not crafting armor anymore because most of your units are already with fine gear, you can decide to upgrade the gems to at least stage 5 and even stage 6 if they are stage 5 gems are undesirable. So I think personally desirable gems are crit chance, crit damage, attack percentage, IP percentage and defense percentage, with defense percentage being the weakest one. The undesirable gems are accuracy, effectiveness, evasion and resilience. They might certain units will want more of the undesirable gem stats, but overall I think that this will narrow down the talisman to only a few units if not only one or two, which will make it harder to gear swap efficiently. So to sum up my game crafting strategy, 
I will craft gems to stage 5 and all undesirable gems will be crafted to stage 6. That way I have a lot of gems available for many units while not losing out too much on stats and gold overall. So overall I think that gems are pretty straightforward and easy to understand. The problem is just that many people don't have the gold to upgrade them to higher stages. With that said though, I think that gems are not mandatory for ne many new and advanced players. And you will not lose much out on too much stats if your armor is easier to upgrade for now. So keep in mind that you having good armor is currently more important to, than to have the perfect gems. But you will get to the moment where you have to decide between crafting armor or crafting gems. I for myself am not crafting armor anymore. I will just farm the stages, uh, the dungeons, and if it drops, it drops, if it doesn't, it doesn't, right? Speed 18 is still a dream, but it somehow never happens on armor and legs for me, but yeah, that's how it is. So overall, I want to thank you all for watching my video, I hope it helps you, and I hope you can learn more from me and stay in Autobahn. Have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.